Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about the Audiolab M DAC Plus. It's a full-featured DAC. It is also a preamp and also a headphone amp. So sit back, get comfortable, and let's talk about it. Well, the Audiolab M DAC Plus is a really interesting product. As I mentioned, it can be a preamp. It does have a full function remote control to change inputs and adjust volume, um, but it's only a digital preamp. It has no analog inputs. It is a headphone amp, and it's while the specs aren't great, it sounded quite good. It's rated at 150 milliwatts at 32 ohms and 35 milliwatts at 300 ohms, and I use my 300 ohm Mass Drop 6XXs, and it sounded quite good. And it has some great connectivity as well. And hopefully, if you like the video, you'll give me a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you would like to support the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel, there is a membership link in the description of the video and the pinned comment. And if you really feel generous and you want to buy me a granola bar, there's a thank you button at the bottom of the video. But please don't feel obligated to. As you can see, we've got an AC, IEC, AC socket, two RCAs on very high quality uh, connectors, balanced, and it is a fully balanced unit. Now, this is curious. It has a coax and toslink digital output. I'm not sure I can figure out why that has that. It has two coax, two toslink digital in, an ASEBU, a USB-A, which I find curious in the owner's manual, it mentions for connecting iOS devices like an iPhone or an iPad. Um, because it does, it's not a wireless unit, obviously, if you want to stream from your iPad, you're going to have to do it over a cable, or you could probably use it to connect up a Weem streamer or something like that if you were going to go that route. A USB-B, obviously, for connection to a computer, and some 12-volt trigger sockets there for custom home installation. So let's crack it open, take a look inside, and then we'll come back and talk the about how it's done. The Audiolab M DAC Plus. As you can see, it is very well constructed. It almost looks like an amplifier, and kind of that's what it is because it is an excellent preamplifier as well. So we're going to start over here on the... This is basically the power supply section of the unit. It has multiple power supplies for digital analog, for the output stage, for the preamp side of it. So very well constructed, fully discrete output, fully discrete power regulation and power supplies. These are the output transistors for single-ended and balanced, so very well-constructed, no IC chips in the line. These are all Suscon capacitors. The little red ones are WEMA. So again, fully discrete analog output section. Now, this is where the DAC board lives underneath here. There is an ESS Sabre 9018 chip underneath there, plus two oscillator clocks in addition to the three oscillator clocks you'll see on top. So jitter reduction is quite good on this unit. And of course, if you're using ACE, USB, it is asynchronous anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the XMOS chip here handles, obviously, incoming signals from SPIDA for USB. This is the oversampling section of it at 384, and here is the DSD section of it. Again, very, very well constructed, very discreet, multiple power supplies, great output, great preamp function. And as I said, this is the best Sabre chip-based DAC I've ever heard. Let's button it up and talk about how it sounds. Well, as you can see from looking at the inside of the MDAC Plus, it's really well constructed, and I'm very impressed with that. Now, it is a ESS Sabre 9018 chip, and many of you know I'm not a big fan of Sabre chips. They have what I call Sabre glare. This, let me get it out right up front. This is the best ESS Sabre chip-based DAC I have ever heard, bar none. Um, and looking at the inside, you can see why. I mean, it has a totally bespoke analog section, very well engineered, very top quality uh, components. This was kind of a cost, no object uh, design, and I appreciate that. And it completely mitigated any of that saber glare. If I really, really focused and bore down on it, maybe I could hear it. But and for the most part, I didn't even notice it, forgot it was a Sabre chip and just enjoyed the music. Um, as far as sound quality goes, bass is deep and articulate and everything you would hope for. And of, among the best that I've ever heard from a, from a DAC. Um, the mid bass, excellent, great attack. Toms were great, electric bass, string bass, all very good, very well defined. Um, mid range was wonderful. Male vocals were great. Female vocals were awesome. I was listening to Leontine Price, who's an opera singer, and her voice was just majestic, and it was beautiful to listen to, and smooth and articulate. 
uh, everything, and good height on the image, we'll talk about that in a second, but just everything you would hope for. As you move up into the upper mid-range and into the treble, there was no sibilance, sibilance, excuse me, and cymbal crashes sounded like cymbal crashes. So if you think about uh, on Kinda Blue, the song So What, Jimmy Cobb is tapping away on the cymbal, and then there's a big crash right before Miles comes in with his horn. And actually, Jimmy said that he thought he had hit it too hard, and Miles was going to say cut, but they kept going. And that splash, that big crescendo on the cymbal, sounded absolutely natural. So hats off to this. Really excellent. Again, the best uh, Saber DAC based chip, uh, Saber chip based DAC I've ever heard. I got to slow down and not drink so much coffee. As far as imaging goes, beautiful image, lock solid center, good width, good height, decent depth. I don't think De Delta Sigma DACs do that great a job on depth, uh, but it was good and rewarding and nice and sounded natural. Um, I have no complaints on any of the imaging or sound quality. It was quite good and, and highly recommended. So. The MDAC Plus, I think it's a great piece. And again, it's the best uh, Sabre chip-based DAC implementation I've heard, period, bar none. I really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Now, it must be said that the gentleman who owns this suggested that I use a step-up transformer to go from 110 to run this on 220 volts. Apparently, it's supposed to sound better. I don't know. I didn't listen, on the, listen to it on the regular 110 volt input. I only listened to it with this. But in it, so it sounded great, so it must work. Anyway, Audio Lab MDAC Plus. Well, hopefully you liked the video, and if you did, I'd love uh, a like, obviously, and a subscription. And if you wish, uh, you want to join the channel, in the description of the video and in the pinned comment is a link to join the channel. And as I said earlier, if you want to buy me a granola bar, there's a thank you button down on the bottom, but please don't feel obligated. And Again, I'm not in this for the money, but I do have expenses producing the videos and shipping in and out products and things like that. So those contributions do help defray that cost. That's all. In the video description itself are affiliate links. And again, to defray the cost. And you know the drill with those. And below that are some playlists. I did update some of the playlists in there. And I would appreciate it if you guys sent me your playlist. A lot of people have, and it's been wonderful. Some of those playlists are, abs all of those playlists are absolutely wonderful. But I would encourage my inter international viewers, please send me playlists from your part of the world. We don't always get to hear what you're listening to. And I think it would be wonderful that discovery of new music is one of the big parts of this hobby that I really love a great deal. So that's this piece. I appreciate your time. Thank you so very much. I hope you got something out of it. And if you have any questions, please comment. Anybody who comments knows I answer comments all the time, all of them, thousands of them. And I enjoy that back and forth we can have with that communication. Anyway, this is Ed Homa, the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel, saying it's now time for you to go listen to some music, maybe on a really nice DAC. Thanks so much.